I am the Ascended Master Jesus Christ and I wish to speak to you about the topic of Christhood and how it relates to your divine plan. We have so far given you teachings about what we might call the work phase of your divine plan. When you first come into embodiment, at least when you are a mature spiritual student, then you know that there is some work that needs to be done in terms of balancing karma, receiving insights, having experiences that shift your consciousness. And as a more mature spiritual student, you're often planning to get this work phase out of the way early in your life so that you can move through it fairly quickly and then move into other phases of your divine plan. So it is quite common to see people who in the early decades of their lives are very, very busy, very, very absorbed in relationships, having children, building a career, working, all of these things. It is as if you might call it an obsessive compulsive disorder where they feel they just have to do all of these things and have to do them at, at once. But it is not so obsessive after all because it is simply this desire to move through this so that you can have the clarity of mind and perhaps also the opportunity in your outer situation to focus more on the other faces. So one of the ways that for most of you, you deal with balancing karma is through relationships. And so that's why you can often see that people get married fairly young, they have children fairly young, maybe you have more than one relationship, and they can be very intense relationships because this is something you want to move through and you have a great desire to move through it, even though you don't understand this consciously. And so, for many people, there then comes another phase, which is often where you discover a spiritual teaching, you are aware that there is a spiritual path, and you begin to walk that path. And then you also have many people who are very, very eager at applying themselves, whatever that spiritual teaching is, they study it eagerly, you practice whatever tools and techniques are given. And then again, you could say that it's almost in an obsessive, compulsive manner, but it is again because you know that this is what you need to do in order to rise to a higher level of consciousness and thereby also a higher level of your divine plan. And so, one conclusion that you can draw from this knowledge is that there is absolutely no reason for any of you to have any kind of regret or negative feelings about what you have gone through in your lives. You can look back at your lives and you might judge with the outer mind that many of the things you went through were not spiritual, they were not maybe harmonious, they were too intense and you might have some regrets and looking back and say, I wish I hadn't done that. But my beloved, Why did you do what you did? Because it was part of your divine plan to go through that experience. Because for whatever reason it was for you individually, you needed that experience in order to work through this, what we have called the work phase of your divine plan. We can also call this phase the preparatory phase, where you are preparing yourself for the more creative phase of your divine plan. You simply realized, as we have said, that 
you have a potential to reach a certain level of consciousness in this embodiment but you come into embodiment with a lower level of consciousness and so you want to shift your consciousness as quickly as possible so you can get up towards the higher levels because only when you get to those higher levels can you begin to actually see the more creative aspects of your divine plan. And what we have also said is that you cannot really shift your consciousness in a theoretical, analytical, intellectual way. You need to have certain experiences in order to shift your consciousness. So, why did you do what you did? Because you needed, you subconsciously knew you needed that experience and you wanted to have it as quickly as possible so you could shift your consciousness. And my beloved, whatever experiences you have had did shift your consciousness in some way. I know that most of you will then look back at your lives and you will say, but there were some experiences that were so difficult that I went into a negative spiral and for years I was depressed or disturbed or stressed about this. Yes, my beloved, but when you are willing to look back, use the tools we have given you, you can actually overcome this and go through the shift you were meant to have as a result of that experience. And then, my beloved, when you shift, the experience no longer matters. I realize that there can be energy that is accumulated in your fall over bodies from a traumatic experience but you have the tools to transform that and you also can let go of it but many times my beloved you do not realize that when you had these experiences you reacted to them with a level of consciousness you had at the time but then now that you have raised your consciousness, you look back at that experience with some regret, perhaps even a feeling that as the spiritual student you would like to be, you shouldn't have done this. But my beloved, that sense of regret or blaming yourself or feeling ashamed comes from an internal self that is often part of this conglomerate of the primal self and so if you can identify that you are looking back at your past with regret or other negative feelings then you should know that this is an internal self it's a separate self and it may actually be created partly because of a spiritual teaching you had that for some reason you interpreted so that you created this self that is blaming yourself or feeling ashamed or feeling like you are not good enough or feeling like as some of you might feel that a real spiritual person couldn't possibly have done what you did and the fact that you did it means that you have lost the opportunity forever and you can never make up for it in this lifetime and therefore your lifetime is wasted and there's nothing you can do about it other than sit down in a dark room and cry for the rest of your life. <laughs> and my beloved, I'm making fun of this, but there are people who have this sense that something, they did something so bad that they couldn't possibly really be spiritual and they couldn't possibly approach the ascended masters for we would surely condemn you as you condemn yourself and how many times have we told you now we do not look at you as you look at yourself we do not condemn you as you condemn yourself so what i want to say here is this do not ever my beloved assume that an ascended master would condemn you for anything you have done. We have only one desire to set you free. So we are willing to help you be free of anything from your past. This is one of the aspects of Christhood. 
that when you begin to have what we have called Christ discernment, you can actually come to a point where you experience that you can be forgiven, be redeemed, you can overcome, you can rise above anything that has happened here on earth. I can tell you that there are actually many, many Christians, even some fundamentalist Christians, who have understood this better than many New Age or even Ascended Master students. And it is partly because these Christians do not have the concept you have that you are walking a path and it is up to you to see things in your psychology and let them go. But nevertheless, they have experienced the reality that Christ can redeem them from any sin. And they have accepted this. You, on the other hand, have taken a higher level of responsibility for yourself. And this is good. But you have to realize that there is a separate self in you that has taken this higher responsibility and turned it into a negative by getting you to think that you should always be perfect and that there are certain things you could have done from which you cannot be forgiven or redeemed. In other words, you can never rise above it. And of course, this self is based on the fact that from the moment the fallen beings began to embody on this planet, they have projected into the collective consciousness that there are certain choices you can make with your free will that you can never overcome by making other choices. And again, we have told you now several times that free will is such that you can make any choice you want at any time. And that means that you can at any time make a choice that completely replaces a previous choice. You can never make a choice that you cannot, but you cannot escape the consequences by making another choice. Now I know very well that immediately there will be a part of your beings that says, but here in the physical octave, we can make choices when we are young that have consequences that we cannot change by just making another choice. Yes, my beloved, that's true. But how many times have we told you that there is no material condition that you can take with you into the ascended realm? And therefore there is no material condition that can keep you from ascending. And there is, for that matter, no material condition that can keep you from moving on to the highest potential of your divine plan. Because there is really no material condition that can prevent you from shifting your consciousness. And it is shifting your consciousness that brings you to the point where you can ascend, and that brings you to the point where you can move into the higher phases of your divine plan. It is all about shifting consciousness. So you recognize that on the one hand, because of the density of the material realm, there is a certain mechanics here. There are certain things you can do that have consequences that can remain for the rest of your life. That is perfectly true. But this cannot limit your growth in consciousness. That is what you experience when you begin to have that Christ discernment and you open yourself up to really grasping, really experiencing that aspect of Christ. Christ the Redeemer, as the Christians call it. You might call it something else. You might call it the Christ that can lift you above anything from your past. The Christ that can make you new, as even Paul said, you become a new being in Christ. And so, this is an important shift for some of you to make, where you realize that there are fallen beings on the planet, they are very aggressive at preventing you from reaching the higher stages of your divine plan, and especially manifesting Christhood, 
And in order to do this, their primary tool is the projection that you could have made choices, but you can never rise above. And this is an absolute lie that goes totally against the concept of free will. And so, therefore, you need to make that discernment. And my beloved, here we move into another aspect of Christhood or Christ discernment that many people in the world have not actually made. And this again is because the fallen beings have done everything they could to abort my mission as I started it 2,000 years ago. They have done everything they could to make people misunderstand the concept of Christ. And so they have, with the creation of the Catholic Church and forward, projected this image that Christ is the Savior who comes to save you as an external force, and that you, therefore, do not have the power within yourself or the ability within yourself to raise your own consciousness to the point where you can ascend. It is a complete turning around of the message I actually gave. It is a complete perversion, and therefore it is, as I have said before, clearly that most Christian churches today are based on the lies of Antichrist from their very foundation. But that's a side issue. <coughs> what I want to bring forth here is this. There is nothing you cannot overcome from the past. When you realize that Christ is not an external Savior. Christ is not outside of you. Christ can only come inside of you. Christ is, if you want to see Christ as a Savior, Christ is the internal Savior. And therefore, my beloved, you need to recognize that you can truly overcome everything from your past if you are willing to look at yourself and see that separate self in you that is attached to the past. So, for example, Many of you who are on the spiritual path and who have taken responsibility for yourself, you have an internal self that says you should be a certain way as a spiritual student. And my beloved, There is a very, very aggressive consciousness in the world, again created by the fallen beings, going back thousands of years and even beyond, that wants to define these boundaries, these judgments, these standards for how people should be. And part of Christhood is to come to realize that you cannot